welcome to Cabmaster Software. Today we're going to be going through how to import a list file into Cabmaster Software. Now there's a whole um, a whole lot more you can do with this layout, but what, I'm, what we're going to do, we're going to start with a simple um, tab file, which I've got one created here already. I've just opened this up in Excel. Now this is a .tab or a tab delimited file, uh, which is a standard format. You can actually open, uh, create a new one in Excel and go file save as a tab file. Uh, and it'll do that for you quite happily. Now, what we've got here, we've got two different areas within inside this import file. You've got the the header section, which we call what we call the header file or the global section, um, and this has a tilde in it, and it reads from left to right. So that's the tilde symbol, and all that means it's a global property. Um, and then you've got the rest of the properties, which I'm going to go through uh, each in in its uh, each area now. So this first section here. I'll move that out of the way. What that is, is if you go into Cab Master and you go to Drawing Properties, any of the properties in here, which we call it, these are the global properties or the you know, the overall properties, um, any of these things can be controlled in that top section. Um, so if I want to spe specify the ceiling height, what I do is I can actually hover on top of that option and it comes up and tells me at the end of the line, it says enter a length in the edit box for ceiling height. Now that ceiling height is the actual variable that can be used in the import file. Um, so we've got height off bench, we've got any any of the variables here, materials, hardware, job numbers, any of these things in here, which we have job number in there. And again, it's just called job number. You've got to get it right. Um, but things like um, you can actually specify materials, anything like that in there as well. Um, but that goes on to literally any parameter in construction and you want to control the construction again this is at a global setting so you can do any of those things all you need to do is in this first file you put a tilde in front of it that's the variable that's what you want the answer to be so you can just manually type in anything you like in there so I can type in 133 millimeters as an example for my kickboard height and I'll put all the, the kickboard height on everything now the other ones all these other ones here these are the variables and this is the cabinet by cabinet level and it reads downwards now so the code is the actual cabinet name now this is important we get the actual cabinet names correct because this is what it's going to look for so floor one door left which is what we've got here floor one door left and then these are the parameters cab width height these are the, these are the variables that are going to get used within this cabinet here and these are the cabinets and again you can pull out any cabinet all you like um, and you can set any variable within any of those cabinets. So if I open up a floor one door left, as an example, again, kickboard height is kick, it says kickboard height, one word, capital K, capital H. We can control that. We can set the material. Um, we can set door quantities. Um, it's a one door, you wouldn't, but you can. The point is you can you can go into this, into this cabinet and you can set any, um, parameter you like number of shelves you want to set number of shelf shelf quantity is all you need to put in now be aware with drop downs they actually start at one it's not actually asking for the quantity in a drop down it's asking for the number so that's gonna be one so all gonna be one off uh, because it's the first one in this drop down is zero for number of shelves so the second one in a drop down so drop downs are always one off the quantity that you actually want but if we were as an example here we can get a shelf quantity so we can bring in this back again, shelf QTY, so shelf, sorry, if I could spell it'd be better, shelf QTY is the variable, and I can put in three, and that will put three, put the third drop down, so put two shelves in for this one here. Now, if I don't want to use that variable on any other cabinet, you just leave it blank. So you, can, you only put in the ones you want to actually change from the standards. Uh, now, if you're using Excel as an example, you hit Save button, and it says it's in. It's a tab delimiter file. Do you want to keep it? Yes, I do. Uh, now we can just close that. Now come up with a message saying, "Do you want to save your changes?" We already have saved it. It's now trying to save it into an Excel format. So you just say, "Don't save." So what we can now do is we can go to List View which is this one down the bottom here. So you've got your plan, elevation, 3D, list, and then machining. So we go down to list view, file, import, import item list. Now we're going to go find that file, which is cabmaster sample, and go open. Now this is going to import all of those cabinets 
they should all have a default of 133 kickboard so I can click on any one of these here um, so general kickboard height 133 as we've requested number of shelves is two on this cupboard the default on all the other cupboards is just one shelf so you can see what it's done here so let's put the extra shelf so there's the third one so one two three it's a third one down so it's brought in a number of shelves um, from that point there you can actually send it straight to the machine that's now ready to go you've imported um, your drawing properties as well so under job setup um, job number sample one um, job defaults I've got 133 mil kickboard height um, any variable you want to control you can do that from this list file um, so you've got so here's that list file we just imported again if I want to go to kick board height uh, and I can go and change this one here so this is 125 millimeters and the one directly below it's going to have um, 144 just to be as an example and you can choose any variable on any cabinet that you like save yes I keep the format no I don't want to save that I can delete these ones do the same thing again um, import import item list The only rule is you've got to follow that format. Um, you can write macros in Excel to actually generate it yourself when you do those things. Um, so the first one had general 125 mil kickboard. The next one 144, and all the other cupboards will have back to 133, which is a generic, uh, the the global property. So you can even overwrite set a global property, then you can override that global property further on down the track as well. So it's really easy to import with CAD Master. Now, there's other ways you can do things as well. This one here, whatever library you're on, is important what you're importing. So the CM cabinets, we're importing actual cabinets. Um, if you want to import parts, you can actually go down to the CM parts. Um, so the, the main rule there is you've got to follow the part name. You want to import a back, it's got to be called back. But then you can also um, you can only import from one library at a time. So if you're going to import parts, you need to set up an import for the parts. Exactly the same structure as the cabinet. The only difference is the names and variables. Uh, my height off kick is the height uh, variable for the actual height of the cabinet. So the formats, uh, the the way it works, is exactly the same. All the variables are available there, uh, just by hovering on top of the items. Um, that's what it takes to import into Cabmaster. So, and you can do that into any of our products, be it Shape Master, Box Master, Door Master, Top Master, Cabmaster. Thank you very much for your time. I hope that's explained everything.